Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. In today's podcast, we are going to be covering KPMG interview questions. And these are our interview questions that are specific to KPMG. So if you're going through the Big Four accounting interview process, you're going to be interviewing with all Big Four accounting firms most likely, but you can't just go in there with canned responses for all the Big Four accounting firms. You have to have specific ones for each firm. And so today we're going to be covering the KPMG interview questions. So the first question we're going to be covering is, why do you want to work at KPMG? And we covered this in another podcast as well. But simple question, but you still need to answer it well because the big four accounting firms know that you're going to be other interviewing with the other accounting firms. And they want you to have a reason why you want to work for them. And that's probably the reason they're going to hire you. Because a lot of people are just going to have the mindset of, I'm, all, I'm interviewing with all the big four firms. I don't care which one I get. So, you know, I don't really research each one independently. But there are tons of reasons to work for KPMG, and you can find them anywhere, really, like on the on their website, in their press releases, in their revenue releases. But we're going to go through a few today. And an easy one that you can say is that they have a strong brand. They're the fourth largest accounting firm in the world by revenue. And that's a huge reason to work there, right? Because a lot of people want to work for mid-sized firms or smaller accounting firms, but having that big name brand is something that you can say that you'll benefit you in your career and you really appreciate. And this is also true because of their global firm. So their strong brand and their global firm, you believe will help you in your career because you'll be working on the largest clients in the world and that'll give you a great opportunity to improve yourself and build your career and also build your network. You can have a strong network of people at clients within the firm globally you can work internationally and have international clients and international colleagues so that's another benefit another thing you can mention is that you saw that kpmg was ranked as number five in the world's most attractive employer rankings for business students so that's a ranking that a lot of people aren't going to look up and if you bring it up it'll be something that they, they really key in on and another ranking you can bring up is that kpmg was ranked as number 29 on the fortune 100 KPMG has also been named one of the top 50 employers for women. So that's a diversity measure that you can bring up because a lot of big four accounting firms are, they know that diversity is important to a lot of people. So they like getting these rankings. And if you bring them up, they'll be really impressed by them. And another diversity ranking you can bring up is that they were ranked number eight on Diversity Inc.'s top 50 companies for diversity. Okay. So the next question you might get is who is KPMG CEO? And Bill Thomas is the global CEO of KPMG, and he has been named the CEO of KPMG since 2017. And he was previously chairman of the KPMG's Americas region, and he was also previously um, the CEO of KPMG Canada. And he received a little bit more about Bill Thomas. He received a bunch of awards when he was a CEO of KPMG Canada, so that's something to keep in mind. And it's very interesting as well that Uh, KPMG chose to have their CEO not be from the United States. Most of the big four accounting firms have their CEO from the United States. But then again, KPMG really isn't a U.S.-based firm, so it's not that unusual for them. And the United States CEO of KPMG is Lynn Doty. And you need to keep an eye on this because she just just announced that she's not going to be the CEO of KPMG U.S. in the future. And it seems like the audit scandal that shook KPMG a couple years ago has kept her from keeping her position in the future. And I've done a couple other interview podcasts recently, and the CEOs have changed a lot. So make sure to keep an eye on that and do the research before you go into your interview because, you know, the CEOs for these companies have stayed the same for at least five years, but it seems like the rotations are coming up. So we might have a number of CEOs going in and out. And also, with the way that the world works now with the shocking news headlines, the CEOs can be ousted in, you know, seconds or a day for something that hits the headlines. And it seems like it's happening to the big four here with KPMG and Deloitte. So just make sure to check out who the global CEO is and the local CEO is before you go on your interview. Okay. And another question you might receive is what interests you about KPMG? And again, you can mention a lot of things in this area. 
This is where you can mention their global network and how they operate in 154 countries and how that network will help you fulfill your desire to work on large companies and gain experience. And you can also mention their culture and how they have a strong professional culture. You value that their culture relies on their values, which is something they say on their website. And that you believe that you'll be a better professional by growing your career at KPMG in their culture. And another interesting thing about KPMG is that they recently invested $4 billion in innovative services, technology, and acquisitions. So that's another thing you can say that interests you about their firm. And you can say that as a young person starting in your career, you feel it's important to, you, to have your potential employer to be investing in the future, as you believe technology is an important part of that future. Another thing you can say is that KPMG's diversity initiatives really interest you and they're important to you. As you spoke about before, they're ranked very highly on Diversity Inc.'s um, best companies to work for. And then we'll just go some, through some more rankings now that you can bring up. So KPMG was ranked number 29 on Fortune 100's best companies to work for. And they are also named uh, as for one of Fortune's best workplaces for women to work at. And they're also in the top five companies for multicultural women to work at, according to Working Mother magazine in 2018. And there are numerous of these global rankings in, in not only in the U.S., but globally and then other countries where KPMG is ranked really highly. So depending on where you're at, make sure to look up those rankings for your country and you can bring them up because that shows that you, you, you know, these things matter to you because it matters to them, right? They go out to these publications and get ranked. So if you bring it up, it'll really impress them. Another question you might get is who are KPMG's largest clients? And some of KPMG's largest clients include... General Electric and General Electric used to be one of used to be their biggest client by far, and it probably still is. But as you've read the headlines, all the scandals, G is sh shrinking and becoming smaller. But that is, used to be their biggest audit client, and it probably still is a pretty big client because of all the financial stuff that's going on with GE. So that's one of the largest clients. Another large client is Halliburton, which is an oil service company, and then. Another one they have is Citigroup. It's a large bank. And then Wells Fargo is also a large bank that KPMG has, which has been in the headlines a lot too for various scandals. So those are those are a few of their of their largest clients. And you can check out our KPMG clients page on our website, bigfourcountyfirms.com, for a list of more of their clients. Another question you might receive is what does KPMG do? And this might seem like an easy question, but you don't want to get tripped up on it. So have a response ready. And for this, you can say that they're the fourth largest professional services firm in the world and that they provide audit, tax, and consulting services to the largest companies in the world. So it's it's important to know those things, right? That they that they're a professional services firm. They're not just an audit firm. They're not just an accounting firm. All these companies are basically you know, large professional services firms and that they service the largest companies in the world. They're not going to be working for small little companies or small net worth clients. It's going to be the largest clients and companies in the world. And another, another important question that you might get is what are KPMG's values? So KPMG describes their values according to like who they are. So I'll say it that way. They say that we lead by example. That's their first value. They lead by example. And what this means is that at all levels, they act in a way that exemplifies what they expect of each other and their member firm's clients. Their second value is that they work together. So that's, they say that they bring out the best in each other and create strong and successful working relationships. And another value they have is that they respect the individual. And what this means is they respect people for who they are and for their knowledge, skills, and experiences as individuals and team members. And that one's like the diversity value. So that's one you can reference if you're, if you're looking for that value. Another value they have is they seek the facts and provide insight. And they seek the facts by challenging assumptions and pursuing facts. We strengthen our reputation as trust, trusted and objective business advisors. Another value is that they are open and honest in their communication. They say that they share information, insight, and advice frequently and constructively and manage tough situations with courage and candor. And another value is that they are committed to their communities. They say that they act as responsible corporate citizens by broadening their skills, experience, and perspectives through work in their communities and protecting the environment. And the last value is that above all, they act with integrity. And this means they are constantly striving to uphold the highest professional standards, provide sound advice, and rigorously maintain their independence. 
So that's a list of all their values that you can reference and it's on their website in case you need to go back to it. And you need to study KPMG's values before you head into your interview. And you should think about trying to answer all your interview questions in terms of their values to show that you fit with their culture. So you can't really say that you don't care about your community or you don't really do that much volunteer work because that won't sound too good. And you can't say that you're not open and honest in your communication, that you keep things to yourself and that you're not, you don't have integrity or like you don't care if something goes wrong. You might get a question like that, right? Like, what would you do in this situation if something bad happened? And you need to say that you would speak up, even though that's not really the case when you're in the big four. Like if you speak up about, trust me, if you speak up about bad things and bad behavior, a lot of times you kind of get ostracized and you get bad reviews. And that's what I've seen. And it's happened multiple times, but you still need to say that you would do the right thing. You need to make sure that your answers line up with the values of the big four accounting firm you're interviewing with. And another question you might get is what, when was KPMG founded? So the earliest founding date for a member of KPMG was in 1891 with William Barclay Pete. And William Barclay Pete is the P in KPMG. The next firm was James Marwick, and James Marwick was founded in 1897, and that's the M in KPMG. And the next firm is Pete Kleinveld, which was founded in 1917, and that's the K in KPMG. And the last member firm of KPMG is Reinhard Gardler, which was founded in 1953, and that's the G in KPMG. And then the KPMG network was combined in 1987, and that was when Pete Marwick merged with Maine Gordler. Another question you might receive in your KPMG interview is, what was KPMG's latest revenue? And as of right now, their latest revenue number was $28.96 billion globally, and that's from 2018. And that means they're almost at $30 billion. They might break $30 billion this year, so that's something just to keep in mind. And the last question we have here for today is how many people work for KPMG? And as of that last fiscal year, KPMG had 207,000 employees. And that makes them the fourth largest firm by employees, the fourth largest accounting firm. And for comparison's sake, Deloitte has over 300,000 employees. So those are some of the questions that you'll receive in your KPMG interview or you might receive. Make sure to do some preparation, read their values, Learn who the CEO is. Think of reasons that you might want to work at KPMG, what really interests you about their culture, and just think of some answers that you would give. And you can use our guidelines here. You can use our answers. And I wish you good luck. And thanks for listening. And make sure to check out our website, bigfouraccountingfirms.com. And I'll put a link to the KPMG interview questions page on our website in the description to this podcast. Thanks again for listening.